England, 1127 AD, Crusader Knights bury one of their own community person with a diamond, then next we see, to the current day, the tombs of numerous other crusaders have been uncovered in London's catacombs, Dr. Henry Jekyll enters the tunnels and comes across a tomb with a huge symbol on the wall, which leads him to realize what this symbol indicates, in flashback, Jekyll tells the tale of Princess Ominate, she was a clever warrior eager to succeed her father, Pharaoh Manepter, until his second wife gave birth to son, knowing that the kid would be the next pharaoh, Ominate made an agreement with Set, the god of death, to trade her soul for a dark power, Ominate killed Manepter, his wife, and their child, she is about to conduct a ritual on her lover with a special knife, that would give Set his own body, but the pharaoh's priests interrupt her and kill her lover, she was mummified alive, and had her tomb moved away from Egypt, where she was buried deep underground, so that she could never locate by anyone. In the modern day, we travel to Mesopotamia or Iraq. Sergeant Nick Morton and Corporal Chris Vale of the United States Army are surveillance soldiers riding towards a village that has been overrun by militants. Vale is highly opposed to Nick going down for an adventure. They still go down there and get shot at. Vale orders an airstrike to eliminate the militants. As the bombs fall, a hole in the ground opens, nearly sucking Nick and Vale in, they come across Ominate's tomb. Colonel Greenway, the soldier's senior, arrives in a chopper and promptly wants to punish them for running and pursuing militants on their own. An archaeologist called Jenny Halsey appears moments later and smacks Nick for stealing a map from her, after they enjoyed a night together. Nick, Vale, and Jenny all proceed after visiting the tomb to see what's under there. Jenny notices that the watcher sculpture is facing inward rather than outward, and chains keeping the tomb down while soaked in mercury to weaken evil spirits. Nick fires a chain, causing the sarcophagus to emerge from its casing. He then sees Ominate calling to him and thanking him for releasing her. They return to the surface and raise the sarcophagus. Everyone takes an aircraft home. Vale begins to act strangely as his skin turns gray. He tries to free the sarcophagus from its holding. Greenway approaches approaches him to stop him, but he is stabbed twice by Vale. Vale begins to approach Nick and the other soldiers, forcing Nick to shoot Vale. When Nick and Jenny enter the cockpit, they witness a swarm of crows flying through the windscreen, the pilots are murdered, and the jet begins to crash. Nick hands Jenny a parachute and pulls it out of the way so she can escape safely. The jet then crashes, killing all on board. Nick awakens in a body bag at a London mortuary. Vale's spirit appears next to him and informs him that they are both cursed. Jenny is asked to identify the body, but she is surprised to discover Nick alive. Rescue crews discover the sarcophagus and Ominate's body at the crash Sight. When one guy approaches it, Ominate takes the life out of him and his partner in order to regenerate her body. She then utilizes her abilities to reanimate the dead slaves. Nick and Jenny are drinking in a bar. He walks to the bathroom and encounters Vale's spirit once more. He cautions Nick that Ominate chosen him for a specific reason. Nick then leaves out of the pub and is trapped in an alley by a swarm of rats. They crawl all over him as he sees Ominate crawling towards him, but Jenny snaps him out of it. She tells Nick about what she discovered while reading the hieroglyphs on the sarcophagus. She is aware of Set's dagger and the jewel that must be joined in order for the ritual to be completed. Jenny informs Nick that the jewel is being buried with the Crusaders in London. Nick and Jenny visit the Crusaders' tomb and unearth the jewel from the Crusaders' coffin. They are imprisoned as they try to flee by Ominate and her zombie slaves. Nick and Jenny battle the undead and escape from the tomb. They are pursued by Ominate and the undead as they ride through the woods in a van. An undead slave crashes through the windscreen and forces the van to tumble and roll down a hill. Ominate tries to capture Nick but she is shot with a hook and falls. Nick and Jenny are rescued by a large group of men. The two are transferred to Prodigium, a facility beneath London's Natural History Museum. As Nick travels down the corridor, he notices other relics, including a skull with fangs and a scaly forearm. Nick encounters Jekyll, who proceeds to convey his knowledge of Ominate and the forces of evil in the world. Their facility is geared to uncovering and containing dark forces. Ominate is shackled and subdued as Mercury is pumped through her body. Nick approaches her and listens to her describe the ritual she attempted on her partner. She tries to persuade Nick that if he joins her, he will have complete power over death and become a living god. Jenny and Nick return to Jekyll's office. Jekyll appears to be changing and tries to stop it with a serum, but Nick takes the serum and demands answers. Jenny is dragged out, but Nick remains inside. Jekyll turns into a monster. He and Nick battle and Hyde almost wins until he is injected with the serum. Meanwhile, Ominate summons a camel spider to crawl into the ear of another agent so that he may break her free from her holds. Ominate has escaped and takes the blade and the diamond. Nick and Jenny exit the facility as Ominate unleashes a sandstorm on
As Nick and Jenny run through the tunnels, they come upon more of Ominate's undead slaves, and Zombie pushes them into the water, but they destroy it. Ominate grabs Jenny and drags her underneath as Nick and Jenny swim up for air. Nick battles off more zombies and attempts to save Jenny, but she drowns. Ominate confronts Nick after he removes her body from the river. He seeks to break the jewel until Ominate persuades him to join her once more. Nick extends the knife as if to give it to her, but instead stabs himself, becoming possessed by Set. He fights Ominate and gives her the kiss of death, sucking the life from her, and reducing her to a corpse. Nick then walks up to Jenny and wakes her up by screaming at her to wake up. He then vanishes. Jenny reunites with Jekyll as Ominate's body is returned to a mercury-filled sarcophagus. Jenny is concerned about Nick now that he is technically a monster. Somewhere in the desert, Nick has brought Vale back to life. They ride their horses off on another adventure as a sandstorm follows them.